Hello, everybody. My name is Alexander Balabanov. I'm from Ukraine, uh, and I'm representing uh, my country on the International Festival of Language and Culture. And I will be your host today. And today, yeah, I have with me uh, Tanania from Thailand and uh, Alessandra from Panama. So please introduce yourselves. Hey, I'm Tanania from Thailand. I am here to represent Thailand. Hola a todos. My name is Alessandra Clark. And I'm representing the Republic of Panama in this amazing competition. Wow, nice. Uh, I'm so happy to see you. Uh, and uh, like, where? how did you get get to know about IFLC and uh, where you participated in, in it before, like in previous years? I know IFLC from my school. I've known it for like a long time like six years ago, I believe, I've participated in the show. I've been in audience before, and I feel like I want to participate in this festival so bad. And now we did it. <laughs> so good. <laughs> well, what about you? I learned about this show through Backstage.com, because I was submitting for something else. And then I saw this, and I was like, oh, I can do this. And then I submitted it, and here I am. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, were you touring with IFLC before? Like, uh, have you been to another countries with IFLC show before in previous years? No, I've never been. But last year I was selected, but then Thailand got oh. hit by the COVID. Yeah, that's a sad story. What about you, Alexander? I have not traveled IFLC. Oh, actually, it's uh, a wonderful experience, and I wish uh, every participant uh, from all around the world to uh, get an opportunity to participate in it next year. I hope next year we'll be there. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, guys, what genres of music do you usually listen to or do you like to sing? Like, what? which music do you like? I love every music, like any type. I can listen to any type. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's strong. For me, I think that also too because I love music. I listen to all types of music, but singing wise, my favorites are musical theater, um, ballads, salsa, um, pan um folklore, which is a typical Panamanian music, and rock. I really love to sing rock. Wow. And uh, can you tell some of uh, your favorite artists, maybe? <laughs> My favorite artist is Billie Eilish. <laughs> <laughs> wow, nice. Um, I have... My favorite artists are Drake and Beyonce. Oh, Ooh. I love Beyonce, too. <laughs> She's fire. <Ooh. laughs> nice. Um, and uh, how long do you practice singing? Uh, from which uh, age did you start uh, singing? And maybe you play some instruments and do some other, uh, have some other like interests or keens in music in general. Um, I can't remember actually, but the first instrument that I've played is a guitar. That is my first guitar. Oh ever. yeah, I see two of them. Yeah, <laughs> and for now I can play guitar. Keyboard, ukulele. Yeah, I love to play music and I love listening to music and singing. Wow, can you play bass? I want to try it so bad, but I can't right yeah. now. <laughs> it looks I so fun. I can play too. Yeah, and I don't have a bass, and I want it. Uh, I want to, want to buy it and learn how to play it so bad. Really. <laughs> Same here. It looks so fun. Like. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Well, what about you, Alessandra? Well, I started singing, um, at first, I've always been like training in, in performing arts. So at first I started dancing when I was like two. And then I've continued dancing, like I still dance now. But then I started like actually training singing when I was maybe like eight. And then I started performing and in malls and stuff like that and convention centers. And then, uh, oh, and I also practiced the piano. At one point, I was really good, but then I stopped, and I kind of forgot. <laughs> so, yeah. I feel that I haven't played guitar for, like, 
a year and I can't remember exactly how to like play the chord. <laughs> I can only remember the keyboard chord. That was so weird. Yeah, it actually <laughs> happens to a lot of people when they're like uh, studying in some schools and this classic stuff like piano, classic guitar, and like a lot of musical instruments, they start uh, being so excited and then some when they can uh, kind of maybe run out of <laughs> will to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's so true. Um, and what w- would you like to, uh, no, would you want your country to host IFLC someday, maybe even next year? And uh, what would you show to your future friends and other participants that will come to your country, that would come to your country? Yes, I would love to. I would love to. And I would love to take them to um, Mahanakon Tower. It's like, um, how can I say? It's like the highest place that you can watch Thailand views, like Bangkok views, like 360 wow. degree. Is yeah, it you a have skyscraper some... or uh, like a yes. tower? It's like a tower, something like oh, that. Nice. And you can watch the views like 360 degree. It would be wow. so amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I-, I would come to Thailand, <laughs> actually. Uh, for it. And what about you, Alessandra? I think that for me, I would definitely, oh, hi. I would definitely love to, for Panama to host IFLC one day because Panama did host the Jota Me Jota. Um, I, for, I think it was like 2018 or something like that. And like a whole bunch of people came from different countries and it was very special. But I would definitely love to take them, like my friends that come from other countries, either to Casco Viejo, which is a very, very historical place in Panama, or Chiriqui, because <laughs> there's kind of like an inside joke in like the country of Panama that Chiriqui is a different country, but it's it's all Panama. And <laughs> It's like the, the weather is really different. For example, in Panama, it's usually really hot, but in Chiriqui, it's kind of like a little bit cold, so you have to wear jackets and stuff like that. And it's the, oh, and it's where coffee is produced and strawberries, really nice. Nice, so cool. Uh, and I see uh, one more participant joins us. Uh, it's Sofia uh, from Ukraine, Frit. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry for the delay. I had a bad, bad uh, connection, so. Okay. Oh, wow. Nice I'm to sorry. see you here, finally. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've been chatting here uh, so far. And uh, let's talk a, a little bit about uh, the culture of uh, your countries. Uh, like, what uh, what is your favorite national food? I'm really curious to know. <laughs> Can you describe it and like how it tastes or something? Uh, um, we have many different types of uh, national food. Maybe my favorite is uh, vareniki. Um, it's uh, a dish from a dough uh, with uh, stuffing inside. Uh, often uh, Ukrainians put there some berries or potato or cottage cheese and uh, it tastes very delicious really. Yeah, I like them too. Like, uh, vareniki is a Ukrainian type of dumplings, uh, basically. And uh, for Panani, it can get uh, kind of familiar because, as I, as far as I know, in Asia, uh, there are quite a lot of uh, types of uh, dumplings. Yes. Yeah. Like in different countries. <laughs> yeah. Nice. And what about what about Thailand? What's your favorite Thai food? My favorite Thai food is sumtam. It's like, it's really good. Um, some, many people call it papaya bok bok. I, I don't know why either, but it, it was made by papaya and the spice. I love it so much. They taste so good. If you guys come to Taiwan, you must try som tam and tom yam kung either. They taste so oh, good. Oh, I know tom yam. Is it good? Have you tasted? Have you tried? Uh, I actually uh, haven't tasted because it's uh, hard to find it in Ukraine. So, uh, yes. and only some, uh, they offer it in some kind of like uh, supermarket versions. And <laughs> I know that it's it's not the real experience that you might get. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see. In Asia. What about you, Alessandra? Um, for me, I don't know if you can hear it, but like singing sound. 
is actually um, um, people selling either paletas, which are like um, popsicle sticks, or an de pipa, which is actually not, it's not coconut ice cream, but it's similar to coconut ice cream, and that's one of my favorite dishes. But the one that I was going to say is hojaldre with um, salchicha guisada. And it's basically a breakfast food that is basically um, dough. It's like a thing like this, of like fried dough with um, mm, like stewed sausage. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know really how to explain it, but it's it's just so 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 good. <laughs> wow! You guys make me feel like so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Um, both of them that you named. Uh, so um, one more. What do you like the most about your country? Your favorite thing or maybe a couple of things about your uh, home country? Food. <laughs> Food. <laughs> Food. <laughs> Food. I think that my favorite thing about Panama is like the ecosystems and like there's so many different like plants tropical fruits, animals, like jaguars. Um, the dogs. nature. Yeah, nature, wow. turtles. Well, the other day, I saw, a tur I saw, I saw um, a turtle come from the beach, like in the middle of the night, to lay eggs. It was really a beautiful experience, so I love it. Wow. So good. <laughs> Sophia? Yeah, Sophia. Okay, maybe I love my country for many reasons. Uh, first of all, it's people. They are so strong and hard working. And also, it's a stunning landscape. They are everywhere. Uh, beautiful nature, too. And uh, the beauty of our culture, of our zone. It's really incredible. So that's why I love my country. Wow, well, yeah. I, I love Ukrainian folklore, actually. It's one of the best things. Uh, and what about you, Nania? What do you like the most about Thailand? Probably food and fruit and the beach. Beach in wow. Thailand is really pretty. <laughs> like, so pretty. And water fountains. It's very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, yeah, lots of people from Ukraine go uh, for a vacation to Thailand. Yeah, and they love it. I haven't yeah. been myself, but I would like to. <laughs> And uh, I think the last question for today uh, is, uh, what is your favorite word in your language, in your native language? Can you word? translate it and maybe describe it? Hard questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not sure about this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sophia, what's your favorite word? Um, I don't know. Um, I know one interesting, it's a uh, Parasolka. It means umbrella. Uh, maybe now we had really bad weather. It's every day it's uh, rain and uh, there are so many clouds everywhere. So I think that's a thing that can protect us from the rain, <laughs> from the downpour. So it's made me really good. Oh, so. Alessandra goes gone somewhere. <laughs> For okay. yeah I, I actually i like this word too because it's uh to me it just uh it also sounds quite funny yeah. <laughs> okay and what about can you, can you say it again that word like slowly it's para solka para solka yeah oh yeah oh, oh, para solka. from the first try <laughs> it's a rare food <laughs> <laughs> it's a real rare one <laughs> <laughs> I don't know my favorite word. <laughs> okay, let me think. Let me think. What about you, Alexandra? What's your favorite word? I thought about a lot of words that I cannot say. But um, I think my favorite one probably like juso. And what does juso? it mean? Juso is like some. When you're like, like, what? or like you say like, Tuso. Um, oh, yeah, that idea. Yeah, that idea. Yeah, that idea is definitely my favorite one. Yeah. Wow. 
Mine, okay, I can think of mine. Mine would be like cup and ka. Cup wow. is like to put in the back of the sentence when the boy say. So it would be more formal. And ka is like for the girl. Like so at the ka is for the girl. And so at the krap is for the boy. I, I feel like that's pretty interesting. Like to add the formal things to the word. And what does that, that word mean? It's just so. like the like put put at the end of the sentence to extend the meaning ah. to be more formal. Like so the krap and so the ha. Yeah. Wow, nice. It's some kind of a like grammar thing in Thailand. Yes. And it's oh, cool. Pretty I'm sorry that I really made you think of this one. <laughs> I, I didn't uh didn't thought it would be this hard. Uh so can you talk some about uh your maybe contest songs? Like what are they about? Uh and uh what do you like about them? Um for me. The song means like biggest moments of your life. Like once in your life, you want some biggest moment that you will remember all the time. Yeah, that's the meaning of the song. And the I feel like yeah, the it's related. Wow, good. What about you, Alessandra? My song is not really about Tanya, but it, it's really about, not, it's not about me, but it's really kind of about my style what I what I identify with most and I think it's a very um if you listen to the lyrics it's a very empowering song. Wow, good. And what about you Sophia? Um my son it's very positive and it's about uh, the world at all. Um maybe the main message it's uh, that uh, we children can change the world and make it the best place to live. And uh, friends and family are the most uh, important things for everyone. So just. Wow, so sweet. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, uh, I think that's all. I was very nice to chat with uh, each one of you. It was very nice to meet you. Uh, I hope someday we'll be able to meet each other uh, yes, in the real you. world and real life uh, and uh, talk some more. Uh, and now maybe you can say uh, goodbye on your own language and we'll finish on this one. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's, so then Tanani first, then Alessandra, and then me and Sophia together. Or maybe not together. Well, we'll say <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Ciao, good morning, buenos dias. Bye. Do pobacenia. Do pobacenia. Okay. <laughs> that was nice. Thanks everyone. We're done.